We begin with Ben Winslow, who has more on the plan announced by Governor Herbert today. Ben. Yeah, at a news conference just a short time ago, the governor unveiled the plan that is designed to help Utah recover both in terms of health and economically. The governor says that public health remains at the forefront of everything that they are doing, but the economy is also tied to this. Now, political leaders appeared on a video conference call this afternoon where they discussed Utah's future, especially as job losses grow and Utah's economy takes a hit. Now, this plan is in phases. There's urgency, sustainability, and recovery. The House Speaker told us that what happens in the next 10 days will determine how fast Utah can recover. He urged people to stay at home and practice social distancing to flatten the curve on the coronavirus. Now, the governor says he continues to hope that people exercise common sense and push back on the idea of shelter in place orders, saying he hopes they are not necessary. It's a bouncing act of we want to protect the health and welfare of the people, and yet we want to make sure that the economy doesn't completely tank either. So they're both joined together. Uh, we'll be reviewing our uh, restrictions that we have in place today. Uh, we'll be doing that ongoing. Uh, there may be some additional issues that we want to talk about in the upcoming days or week, um, and we'll get back to you on those. Now, at a town hall broadcast on the Fox News Channel, President Trump said that he would like to see uh, Americans returning to some form of normalcy as early as Easter. I asked the governor about that. He said that, uh, you know, he believes in miracles and maybe that could happen. But uh, he's looked at the data that the state has and he's done the numbers and this plan, the way that they're looking at things, it is two to four months out before we start to see some kind of normalcy. We have posted the governor's plan for you to see. Check it out at fox13now.com. Live on the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.